Hi everyone! Um, not sure why I started the video weirdly. Um, <laughs> but I have an earache today, but I feel pretty, so there's, you know, balance in the universe. Um, but I am in the middle of packing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, packing to go to um, Nottingham tomorrow, which is. Sorry, kind of like. I just. I just it's gonna be boring. But uh, the new Mac collection comes out on Thursday, um, so I might slope off to Mac to have a look instead of going to uni. Because I'm coming back on Thursday, I'm going to Nottingham Tuesday to Thursday. So I might sneak off and um, check out the new Mac collection before I come home. Not that I'm an addict or anything. I just, just, just looking, just looking. Um, probably have my credit card locked up before I go. Um, but uh, this is my monthly favourites video. Um, so I'm gonna start showing and stop talking. Well, keep talking, but do some relevant talking. Uh, standout brushes of the month number one. The Sonia Kashuk Synthetic uh, Blusher Brush, which is funny shape because it's just been washed, um, which I use for foundation and it's amazing. Uh, I don't know if this was in my last um, favourites video or not, it probably was, but it's still my favourite and I've been using it every day. Um, and you'll find out why, in it, actually, I'll tell you now. Um, it's because I'm addicted to Nausea Glow Foundation and this is the perfect brush for it. Um, I was finding that when I was applying my NARS Sheer Glow with my Louise Young foundation brush, because it's so dense, it picked up a lot more product and dispersed it around my face kind of too thickly, so I'd look really cakey and kind of scary. Um, so I really like this because it buffs it out um, really evenly and disperses just the right amount of product, and because it's got synthetic bristles as well, it's um, it doesn't soak any product in. Um, so I love this for Sheer Glow, it's amazing. I love this for any foundation, but Sheer Glow in particular. Um, I wish I'd bought another one of these because I, I have this terror that they will take it away from me. Uh, other standout brush is the MAC 130. Um, and the first time I got this, uh, I was like, what is this all about? And then I used it on my face, I was like, that's oh, quite nice. And then I used it with cream blush, and I was like, ah, so that's what it's for. Um, I love this with cream blush. Uh, I like it for foundation, but the reason that I've not used it much for foundation is because it's always got blush on it. Um, so I kind of want another one so that I can have one that's got foundation on it and one that's got blush on so I don't have to not use it for foundation just because I like it so much for blush. It, it, you see what I mean there. Um, so I really like it with this cream blush. Um, I like it with any blush actually, but cream blush is particularly good. Um, so I really like the MAC 130. Uh, foundations, uh, well this is a given pretty much. Um, NARS Sheer Glow. Ever since I've sorted out my skincare um, and my skin's been a lot less oily, I I've been loving this. It just I love the way that my skin looks with it on. Um I love the way that it fades. I like the way that it lasts on my skin. I like the way that I look. I will wear it day, night, you know, all the time. So I absolutely love this at the moment. I'm not sure why I've suddenly picked it up or why I've suddenly been addictively addi addicted uh, yeah, I don't know why I've been using it every day, but I have. Um, this is probably for like the whole month I've been using this every day. Uh, other foundations. Um, to set my foundation, I've been using the Laura Mercier uh, Mineral Fan Mineral Powder. Um, this just gives such a pretty look to the face. Just like a really soft, um, lovely, just, ah, uh, it's just such a lovely product. Um, I, don't, I like to use it in summer as a foundation and it does make my skin oily well it did when I last used it that was before I discovered Cryolan and good skincare um, so I may 
wear this on its own and see how I get on with it as well but um, this is amazing for a finishing powder it just makes your skin look so soft and bright and beautiful um, another foundation and I should really hurry up uh, Makeup Forever HD first time I put this on I was like really? do people like this? then I used it um, a couple of weeks ago and I was like wow um, so this is a bit of a weird colour compared with the sheer glow see it's really pink but it blends really nicely uh, and I will be doing a full review on this but I really love this I've been loving that this month uh, skin products uh, Clarins Beauty Flash Balm <clears throat> I put this on the first time and I was like what, what is it doing and then I realised you're not supposed to rub it in you're supposed to kind of tap it in then I put my foundation over the top and then I looked at myself in the mirror afterwards and did a double take I was like oh wow um, and it actually did something and I don't know what it did it's kind of like this freaky baby baby scented goo in a, in a pot uh, in a tube but I really like this um, nude clarifying water is one of my products of this month um, simply because my skin has never been better <laughs> um, it honestly sounds like I'm being paid to promote nude and I wish I was but I'm really not um, I just genuinely think this is amazing my oil control my, my, the oil on my skin is basically really under control um, I rarely get really oily skin anymore um, and yeah my skin is clear and happy and uh, that's I'm really attributing it attributing it to this because I've not had any change to my diet oh, my diet's pretty atrocious at the moment uh, lip product of the month um, it has to be the sleek pout polish actually uh, I wear it today and it kind of makes me feel pretty on days off um, this is pink Cadillac uh, it's really soft really melty really conditioning uh, it makes my lips feel like they're moisturized um, and I feel pretty when I put it on and it feels like when I'm just having an off day it feels like it lifts my face and just makes it just just brings it up a bit more just makes me feel better so I like that mm, eyeshadow I've had an eyeshadow crisis this month um, I'll be truthful every time literally I've had to take my makeup off like every day about three times before I found an eye combination that I've actually not hated I'm going through some kind of bizarre crisis where I can't nothing looks good um, but my mainstay for days when I've literally hated everything is Abyssinia by NARS which is a lovely creamy beige and then Copper Plate Copper Plate by MAC which is literally my fav most favourite colour by MAC ever um, apart from Vex it's just Copper Plate by MAC is just incredible as a crease colour because it's really it's kind of smoky but just everyday smoky so it's so easy and lovely and blendable so Copper Plate brilliant crease colour who knew um, favourite nail varnishes of the month um, I've kind of gone off spring colours really really in a big way um, so my favourite nail colours are grey and glittery black <laughs> I don't know why I just I don't feel like wearing spring colours at the moment um, I was all like all about the peaches in, in January and now I'm just sort of like pfft, whatever so um, I'm going back to my staples, you know, dark, wintry colours. Um, Favourite blushes this month, two mineralised skin finishes. Um, Petticoat, which is beautiful, and also Smooth Merge. Um, as I said, I veered really, really away from all the... Um, that's Smooth Merge for you. Uh, I've veered away from peach and coral. I just... I just don't like it. I don't know why. I've just completely gone off it. And I've gone straight back to pink um, for blusher. I think because pink makes me feel really fresh and really pretty and really girly. Whereas coral is a bit more like in your face. Like pink is kind of my natural blush colour. Like nobody blushes orange. So when I wear pink I feel more girly and pretty and put together. Especially when I'm wearing pink Cadillac on my lips as well. So two MSFs for blushes this month. Um, my favourite perfume is, um, I'm probably going to say this wrongly, uh, Isimiyaki or Isimiyaki. Uh, what is this? I think this is, I can't remember. I think it's just Pour Femme. Oh, L'Odyssee. Um, I love this. It's just the perfect 
spring fragrance to me because it's kind of like slightly kind of tropical fresh citrusy feeling but not like really sweet and I'm not really in the mood for sweet perfume at the moment because I, I kind of overdid it with Parisienne um, so this is just like a really nice going out perfume for when like you, you want to feel sophisticated but you want um, oh, I don't know just it's amazing ah it's just so fresh and lovely without being too citrusy and too over the top fresh and I don't really like fresh fragrances so really love this this month um, so yeah that's it I'm sorry I'm slightly just disjointed today um, probably do another video after I finish packing um, so yeah see you later <laughs>